Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Electricity has allowed for some great things in our world, but it can also be pretty dangerous. In the United States alone, a little under 100 people a year are killed from being electrocuted in the workforce, and about another 60 electrocutions occur from consumer products like power tools and lighting equipment. Electrocution is defined as when a person or animal is killed by electricity or an electric shock. But how exactly does electricity hurt someone? Well, to understand that, let's take a step back and see how electricity is measured. Volts and amperes, or amps, are typically ways engineers and scientists describe the electrical phenomena of the world. Amperes measure current flow, or how much electricity charge flows through a point per unit of time. Electron flow is what typically causes harm to a person through tissue or nervous system damage. When flowing through the body in ways they aren't typically supposed to, electrons can cause damage inside a person. These include the burning of bodily tissues or interfering with essential electrical signals, like the ones that cause the heart to beat. Under certain conditions, a person's muscles will tense and clench, sometimes even preventing them from letting go of the current source. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration gives some guidelines on just how dangerous certain amperages are. Currents around 1 milliamp can cause tingling sensations, while currents above 75 milliamps can potentially cause ventricular fibrillation, which may lead to death. Severe tissue and organ burns typically begin at currents above above 1,500 milliamps. But you have to take into account more than just the amperage when seeing how the current of an electrical source will harm a person. Theoretically, a small current can flow into one hand directly through the heart and out the other hand and cause a person to die. At the same time, an extremely large current from a lightning bolt could hit a person and only cause bodily burns if it simply travels through the skin and not further inside a person. Certain body parts are also more susceptible to electric damage than others, with someone's inner organs having far less resistance than their outer skin. Wet skin also has way less resistance than dry skin. This is why people are at a far greater risk of electrocution when water is involved. So obviously high amounts of electricity going through you are pretty bad, but is there ever anything that can make a little electric kiss be a good thing? All my Left 4 Dead fans know that there is the defibrillator. Modern day defibrillators can vary quite a bit from what you see in video games, but they are basically devices that deliver a therapeutic dose of electrical energy to a person's heart in order to treat urgent medical conditions like sudden cardiac arrest. Sudden cardiac arrest is a condition where a person's heart abruptly stops beating, usually caused by ventricular fibrillation. Without the use of things like CPR and a defibrillator, sudden cardiac arrest usually leads to a person's death. See, electricity can be a dangerous thing but it can also save your life. So, have you ever been electrocuted? Have you or anyone you've known been saved by a defibrillator? Let me know in the comments section below. Share your story with the class. If you enjoyed this video, then you're definitely going to want to look at our video on what happens when you drown. Check it out. Well, firstly, drowning isn't like how you see it in the movies. There's not a lot of thrashing around or yells for help. Typically, it's a silent act, where the person's mouth sinks below the surface of the water and then reappears as they try to breathe. My name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.